اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس وی ول اسٹارٹ ناؤ فرام دا بینکنگ سیکشن سو ان بینکنگ سیکشن وی ول اسٹڈی دا اوریجن آف دا بینک گروتھ آف دا بینک اور دیٹ از آلسو کالڈ ایولوشن آف بینک دین فنکشنز آف دا کمرشل بینکنگ اور بینکس سو دیر آر ویریس ویوز about the origin of the bank one view is that it is derived from the italian words banque which means a bench the other point of view that has originated from the german words bank B A N C which means a joint stock form so as regard the growth of the modern commercial banks it can be traced to as early 600 BC Grother in his famous book An Outline of Money he traced the history of the modern english commercial banking and according to him the present day bankers has the three ancestors the merchant stage the gold mid stage and the money lender stage but before going to discuss the evolution of banking or we can say that the origin and history of banking so we must know about the bank that what does it mean by bank so there are too much definition of the banks each economist defined the banks in his own words so bank we can simply define as this is the general definition that bank is a financial institution which accept deposits and lending loans another definition of the bank is that bank is a financial institution which accept deposits at low interest rate and lend those deposits at a high interest rate third one definition of the bank that bank is a financial institution and financial intermediary which accept deposit at low interest rate from the savers and lend or channelize those deposit at a high interest rate to borrowers fourth one definition that bank is a financial intermediary or financial institution which accept deposit at low interest rate lend those deposit at a high interest rate as well as providing different types of services the fifth definition of the bank is that bank is a financial institution and financial intermediary that accept deposits in shape of the different accounts and channelize those deposits are lending those deposit in shape of loan at a high interest rate and as well as providing different types of services to generate their revenue in the definition of the bank i use two words financial institution and financial intermediary 
so financial institutions are those firms are are those organizations which perform their functions or work in a financial environment or in financial system just like banks just like mutual funds organizations just like the credit unions just like the stock exchange these are the common example of financial institution financial intermediary are those functions uh, are those firms or organizations which play a role of the third party in channelizing the money from savers to borrower so that are those institutions are called financial intermediary so this is the work of the bank they that they play a role of the intermediary intermediary means that look at if we have savings if we have surplus money so nowadays we not keep those money in our houses or our homes what we are doing we put that money in our bank accounts in shape of different types of accounts either in current account shape either in saving account shape either in fixed deposits account shape in detail in the upcoming classes we will discuss these accounts that how we can open the account and deposit the money into the different accounts so when we put not only an individual as well as the businesses are also put the money their in their bank accounts and make transaction daily they are making too much banking transactions so bank not keep those amount or those savings with their self further they channelize it in shape of different loans personal and business loan so that's why the financial institution banks they play a role of an intermediary in channelizing these funds from the savers to borrower so so that's why banks are also called words financial intermediary so hope you will understand the the definition of the bank now origin uh, or evolution of the bank so according to the grothers grothers says in his book an outline he says that that the history of the bank is 600 bc he wrote in his book that is written by name of an outline of money he traced the history 600 bc and he says that there there are three stages in the evolution of banks and these three stages are the merchant stage the goldsmith stage and the money lender stage now one by one we are going to discuss this merchants these are also called the pioneers of banking system pioneer means who start for the first time those persons who start for the first time any activity or any <coughs> business so we can say that these are called the pioneer of the that business or that activity so merchants stage 
Dear students, the earliest stage in the growth of banking that can be traced to the working of the merchants. These merchants were the traders in the commodities. They, the trading activities were carried on by them for one place to another one place. It was a risky for these traders to carry on the metallic money with themselves for the payments. So the traders with high reputations began to issue receipts which were accepted as a title of money. These receipts or letters of transfers are also called Hundi or Hawala system in the Hindu subcontinent was the first mood of the payments. The merchant banking thus forms the earliest stage in the evolution of the modern banking. The merchants, these were words, the traders, just like the traders, they purchased the goods at a lower prices from that area where there was excess and were transferred those goods or sold out those goods to the those area where there was need at a higher prices. But there was a problems in the payments of money. They when they buy the goods so for the payments they carried out the money with their self. So it was a risky. This was a problem. To solve this for the solution of this problem <coughs> sorry. So for the solution of the problem what they do, the well reputed, uh, re, sorry, for the well reputed uh, com, uh, the merchants, instead of money, they were issued a receipt. Just like nowadays uh, when we are making a hawala or hundi system, that is also called. So they give us a receipts, and in that receipts consist of a specific number code. So when that code is shown to another one party, so payment should be made. But with the passage of the time, these merchants were things that why not we should earn more and more money. So they turns to the goldsmith stage. So this was the second stage in the growth of the banking in normally traced to the earliest goldsmiths these goldsmiths are also called seeds like nowadays we are saying in set they used to receive gold and silver for safe custody from the people the goldsmith began to issue a receipt for the metallic money gold and silver kept with them. These receipts with the passage of the time become payables to the bearer who will bring these receipts. So the goldsmith will make the payments to that person on demand. In this way the goldsmith note became a medium of exchange and a mean of the payments. So the goldsmith thus can rightly be termed as the forerunner of the modern bank notes. Dear students, goldsmith stage, this is the second one stage of the evolution of the banking. The, in the goldsmith stage, these goldsmith, they were received gold and silver from the people and Against that, they issued a receipt to the person. Like, I, I, I received 
uh, the 50 gram gold from you for the safe custody so I will issue a 50 gram notes to you and when you demand so you will bring that notes to me and I will make the payments or I will give back the gold so this notes was used as a receipts of the payments if let's suppose when you show when you give that notes to some other party in case of uh, some business transaction so they were accept those notes when they give that notes to the issuing party or to other personals so payment should be made is dear student by nature humans are greedy so these goldsmith with the passage of the time they thinks that why not we should earn more and more money so they also become money landers and this was the third stage of the banking in this stage the development of banking taken place when the goldsmith become the money landers by experience the goldsmiths who were called money landers came to know that they could keep a small proportions of the total deposits for the meeting the demands of customers for cash and the rest they could easily rent so they allowed the depositor to draw over and above the money actually standing to their credits in economic terminology we can say that they allowed they allowed the overdraw facility to their depositors so when every money lender or goldsmith issues receipts and most of them allowed the overdraft facility so in this way they were received cash except in the shape of deposits from the savers and a small portion of that they keep and the remaining they lends to the borrowers who need of it so when they accept the cash they accept the cash at low interest rate while when they lend that money so at a high interest rate so in this way they were earn too much money in order uh, to create confidence among the people so steps were taken to regulate the banking organization a conference was held in the Nuremberg in 1548 it was decided that a bank should be set up by the state not by the common peoples which should stree <coughs> <coughs> which should be a streamline the banking organization and techniques the first central bank was formed in Geneva in 1578 Bank of England was established in 1694 the modern commercial banking system actually developed in the 19th century with the time of pass when time passed dear students so the scope of the commercial banking have greatly increased and they now deal with a large number of matters 
such as obtaining the funds, advancing loan to the businesses, farmers, household. Similarly, banks also make investments in stocks like in common stock, in preferred stock, etc. In bonds, purchasing of bonds, purchasing of government securities sometimes. They are also purchasing government securities just like uh, T-bills, treasury bills, discounting bill of exchange, etc. Et the commercial banks, if we looked out nowadays, so they are multi-service organizations and play a very important role in the financial markets and economic development of the country. So these was the three stages, dear students, which was with the passage of the time, the development took place on it and nowadays we are seeing the modern banking which are helping the pupils, the businessmen as well. For example, if business, they need of money. So they can easily take loan from the bank. And banks providing them millions of dollars loan by charging some extra amount. So in this way, the business activity, they are in continuous, in the running positions. They are not facing the financial problems while generating funds. Similarly, the most of the banks, they are also a strong player of the financial system. Means they buy and sell the stock of the different company. They can buy the equity as well as of the debt instruments. Similarly, they can buy the they, they buy the money market instrument and capital market instruments. And in this way, they are helping to develop a proper uh, financial system. And gradually, with the best functions of the bank, financial systems are growing up with the passage of the time. If we looked out in the well-developed countries, so their financial system are too much strong. And over there, banking activity is also strong and too much vast on. They can provide different facility to the savers to save their money, deposit those save savings and further channelizing those savings to that area where there is a need. So this due to these activities similarly Banks also providing nowadays the different services. So they are also helping the import and, and, import and exports. Like they are providing the services of bank guarantee, letter of credits. Similarly, transfer of money from one place to another place without carrying the money. They minimize the risk. We can now with a flash of minutes, we can transfer millions of dollars from one country to another country, from one continent to another continent. So, this was the evolution of the banking and a definition of the banking, that what is banking and how banking concept arises how with the passage of the time banks evolved, evolution taken place and now what is the banking situation now it is. In the upcoming lecture,
we will discuss about the functions of the beings. So for now, Allah Hafiz.